So now that we have a decent understanding of our workspace and the different panels inside of Animate CC, I want to focus on the three types of animation that we'll be creating in this course. All right, this is just going to be a general overview of classic tweens, keyframed animation, and shape tweens. All right, this is just to give you an idea of the type of animations we'll be building. It's not going to be a deep dive into each. In this file that I have open, I have these three types of tweens in three different layers. So the first one that we're going to be talking about is what's called a classic tween. And that's where an object is going to move, scale, rotate, change its alpha or tint over a series of frames. And basically what you do with a classic tween is that you tell animate the starting position and the ending position and it figures out all the frames in between. So one thing I can change real quick in frame one here of the circle is, you know, I could select that circle, go to the properties panel, and under style, I could change the tint to be any color I want, maybe make it this blue, okay? So now in frame one, it's blue, in frame 20, it's orange, and then now animate figures out how to animate the change in tint as it's changing the scale and the position, all right? So these classic tweens are pretty much the easiest and most popular animations that we'll be creating throughout this course. And I'm gonna be explaining again, the keyframes, how they work, and all that as we go on. The next type of animation is a keyframed animation. And I'm using this explosion as an example as of a keyframed animation. And basically, in a keyframed animation, you're creating new artwork in each frame, okay? So as I'm progressing here, you'll see that we have these little orange and yellow fireballs that progressively get bigger and spread out, okay? So each one of these frames is hand-drawn. And you would use keyframed animations for explosions and things like walk cycles or any sort of like articulated character animation, uh, possibly lip syncing as well, where you need to do really precise changes in between frames and each frame is pretty much drastically different than the one that precedes it. Next up, we have shape tweens. And these are really cool in that it allows us to select a starting shape in the first frame and an ending shape in the last frame and animate will intelligently tween the morphing of one shape into another. And you can have multiple shapes in the first frame and multiple shapes in the end frame, and it's going to do some pretty cool things getting from frame one to the last frame of that sequence. Again, I'm not gonna go deep into how we set up and build these animations in this little overview, but I do want you to get aware of a few visual cues that Animate's gonna give us. Number one, when we're doing these classic tweens, I want you to notice that we have this blue span of frames here and you see an arrow. A keyframed animation is gonna have a bunch of these black circles, which tells us that we have new keyframes in each frame. And a keyframe basically tells you that each frame is going to look a little bit different than the one before or after it. And then lastly, this shape tween is shown with this green background and the arrow. So you should be able you know, over time be able to scan an FLA document and know what type of tweens and animations are being used. So again, quick overview. So those are the three types of animations that we're gonna be focusing on this class. And I look forward to getting you into the first animation that you are going to build. Normal